Hi, it's Alyssa and Cole. We're joining you tonight to show you what a try it kit looks like. So if you have heard about Norwex and you know that the products are amazing, like we do, yep. then you might want to try the stuff out. And with no obligation to buy, I would send you this kit, whether I drop it off at your doorstep or you pick it up from mine. And you would have three days to check this stuff out. So inside the bag here, what I have included is a binder because the teacher and me decided that it was gonna go in a binder. Um, inside the binder, you have lots of information about, you know, this is the try it kit, no hassle, no pressure, you don't have to buy anything, just check it out and tell me how you like it. And inside we have um, sleeves with the products tucked away. And then on the back, it tells you all about the product, how to use it, what it's great for, um, and how to treat it. Um, the only thing that I'm asking you not to do is if you are trying this out, you are not putting them in the laundry because I'm gonna do that part for you because there's special ways to care for these products to make sure that they are lasting the longest that they can. So the first one is the EnviroCloth. And of course, you're gonna have this out of its pocket and using it around your home. And if you forget the cloth um, and what its name is, it's gonna tell you right here on the tag, this is the EnviroCloth. So the EnviroCloth is um, like your all-purpose cleaner. And on the back here, it's going to tell you how to use it dry, how to use it wet, and how to make sure that you're rinsing it properly after usage and hanging it by its tag. Okay, again, not laundering, just rinsing it and hanging it. Right here is the window cloth. Okay, so the window cloth is an amazing pair with that Enviro cloth, lots of different reasons. Um, so again, it has the name on the tag here. And on the back, it's gonna tell you um, how to polish things, how to get things streak free, including windows and stainless steel. So get the Windex out of the way. You do not need Windex, you just need water. Water only. That's the number one rule here. All right, Cole, what's the next product? This is the dust mitt. Okay, this is the dust mitt. So the dust mitt is an amazing thing um, because you're just truly putting it right on your hand and you're creating like a static charge and then you're dusting surfaces. It's awesome because you just like pick stuff up and dust it at the same time. Super convenient. Kids actually like it because it's a fun um, like style, I guess, if you could say. All right, so on the back, it tells you pretty much what I just told you about. Um, and then you can use the rubber brush, which is in the, in the mop bag, to get the dust bunnies out of there. Speaking of the mop, that is also going to be visiting you for three days. It is our most sought after item. Everybody loves the mop. Um, it's an amazing, amazing product. Um, no more Swiffer pads, no more residue on your floors, water only on the pads um, if you're using a damp pad. So again, this will tell you how to use the mop, how to use the dry pad, how to use the damp pad. We're gonna show you that momentarily. And then in the back, um, there's a pocket with a catalog and our power of 10. On the back, it says for you. So what I mean by that is you take these two things out and you keep them. They truly are for you. So when you return the binder, those are no longer in there. And then one quick reminder in the back is when you are using these things, please place any of the cloths back into the bag in which they came in. Do not tuck them into the binder. Make sure that they are um, hung to dry. You're not returning damp pat or damp cloths to me. I don't want the, them getting like in a, a wad and getting moldy or things like that. Um, but do not put them in the laundry. I will do that for you. So you're just gonna provide feedback and dirty cloths back to me when you're done. All right. Last but not least, Cole. The, the mop bag. This is the mop bag. So it's a big long bag and it has the most amazing product inside. Okay, so we have the telescopic mop handle, and we're gonna show you how that works in a moment after we click this on. So we click the base on by lining up the green peg with the hole here. And I'm holding it upright, so it's not wanting to do that. I need to put it down. There we go. The bottom, as you can already hear it, is a Velcroed base. So you can Velcro on the pads that you're going to use, the blue being the wet mop pad. Okay, and I'll show you what I do usually under the sink. This and is the dry mop pad. Okay, so I'm gonna just throw this one down on the ground and press it on there. 
and I'm ready to go dry mop. With the wet one, what I like to do is I go under the sink and I run it under the water. Some reason I always fold it in half, makes it easier, I guess. And I wring it out a little bit so that I'm not doing slug trails all over the floor because we have hardwood floors mainly in the house. Um, but yes, I can use the wet mat, wet, the wet, wet mop, mop pad, pad on it. Um, just not totally saturated. And then I put it down on the ground and do the same thing with the Velcro. Okay, so we are gonna show you how to size the mop real quick. Cole, you wanna show them how to do that? Yep. Okay, so Cole, why don't you stand up and show them how to properly size the mop. Okay, so to size the mop, what you're gonna need to do, um, first, if it's loose, you're gonna need to turn this whole handle part to the right, but since ours is locked in place right now, we will turn to the left. Come on, Muscles, did you eat your broccoli tonight? All right, so as you can see, it extends all the way up here, very high. Um, so what you're gonna do to customize it for yourself is you're going to want to align it with your shoulder height, and you're going to want to twist this to be right. And now you are good to go. Awesome, and I loved your vocabulary usage, Cole. Twist and align and all that good stuff. All right, so also in the bag, I wanted to say awesome, but I said also, um, I've included the rubber brush, which is your best friend when using these pads. So if you have the damp pad and you're under um, water in the sink, you would take this and run it along the channels to clean out all the dirt and grime. Same thing with the dry pad, taking it off the base first, holding it over the trash can, and then doing the same thing, running it along the channels, and it is cleaning out all the dog hair, the Cheerios, the crumbs, whatever. Um, so again, yellow is for dry, blue is for wet, and this is the rubber brush to help you clean it. Okay, so this is called the Try It Kit. If you are curious about Norwex and you're not ready to jump in to commit, this is a great way to try the products with no pressure from me, just lending it out to you for three days. Um, the only thing that I ask for, of course, all the products back, but I want your feedback. And a bonus and an amazing thing would be before and after pictures. So whatever you're cleaning in your house, what it looked like before Norwex and what it looked like after. Um, I know that some of your products that are go-to's in the house, you will find that these will quickly replace them, saving you time and saving you money. And I know that you're gonna love Norwex once you try it. So anything else from you, Cole? Yes, um, not much, but Norwex, we've been using it for a while and our, well, our family has seen how effective it really is. And for that, I'm going to suggests that we should use it because it it really does replace anything else that you use like Windex or Clorox and I very much recommend it. Yeah he was using um, in his school like the Clor Clorox wipes um, like I did when I was a teacher. You quickly get all the surfaces real clean and then you throw away the Clorox cloth. Um, but I have learned in recent research that they're not great um, so I did provide like little EnviroCloths for his class, so that's one of the things he's touching on here. Um, just using water instead of the Clorox to clean a surface that a kid's then going to touch and, and work on um, amongst all the residue and everything else that they shouldn't be touching. So we don't have any funny um, ingredients here, it's just water and mechanically cleaning um, by using little fingers and picking all the stuff up. That's basically in a nutshell how Norwex works. So have a great night, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.